Next on the News at 10. A West Alabama man is behind bars charged with several counts of murder, several counts of sex abuse of, from a child, of a child, yeah. And two men are arrested for selling counterfeit tickets to the Alabama LSU game. The news is next. Good evening, I'm Landon Collins. Cool. Oh. They're going to run the open. The open's next. And then they'll run and you say you're good evening. All right, we just follow the lights, right? We just follow the lights. Yeah. From the campus of the University of Alabama, live, local news, from Alabama's home team, this is WVUA News at 10. Good morning, I'm Thomas Malone. And I'm Landon Collins. Two suspects are arrested for allegedly selling fake tickets to the Alabama LSU game. And they reckon the rural West Alabama claims the life of a gun wine team that's surprising is who's driving. Two Georgia men are facing charges related to selling counterfeit tickets to the Alabama LSU game. On Saturday, a fan flagged down an officer and said that they were sold fake tickets to the game. The officer talked to the suspects but was unable to find probable cause for, the, for an arrest at the time. The officer later saw the suspects with counterfeit tickets in their cars and arrested them. 48-year-old Colin Christopher Young and 44-year-old Alfonso Bernard Daniels were placed in Tuscaloosa County Jail on a $240,000 bond. Both men are facing charges, both men are charged with 16 counts of criminal possession of a forged instrument in the second degree. State troopers are investigating the cause of a two-vehicle crash that happened, happened Monday afternoon. It is claimed that the 17-year-old Dean Hyman of the joint gun, he had a friend where in, where in 1997 Ford, I don't know how to say that, Tortoise, that collided with a dump truck on <coughs> Alabama Highway 17 in Detroit. The unlicensed miner was driving the car at the, at the time of the accident. Hillman was not wearing a seatbelt. A, a man is behind bars for facing uh, sexual, abuse, sexual abuse charges of a minor. According to Tuscaloosa County District Attorney Lynn Head, the victim is younger than 12 years old. Head said that Morgan Lee Skelton is, uh, is facing five counts of sexual abuse and one count of sodomy, but she would not say where the alleged incident took place. Northport Police Lieutenant Keith Carpenter couldn't say much about the case, but he did tell WVUA that the alleged abuse happened a few years ago and there was, there was enough evidence to warrant for arrest at the time. Carpenter says the case will now go to a grand jury and that will be determined if they will go to a trial. Skeleton is in the Tuscaloosa County Jail under a $75,000 bond. Uh, new information tonight about the Alabama fans shot this weekend. I keep reading that. Oh, Tuscaloosa Metro Homicide. Sergeant Dale Phillips says that these are the two suspects, two suspects wanted in connection with the shooting. The victim stopped at the Shell Station in Skyland Boulevard. He was taunted by two men about being an Alabama fan, then fought and broke out the suspect, and the victim was shot at, shot at each other. We still have several people to interview and, and leads to follow up before we can really determine what caused this altercation. The victim was treated for non-life-threatening injuries now here's another look at the suspects. If you have any information, call the Crime Stoppers at 205-752-STOP. Tonight, Miss Philippines USA will host a fundraiser at Galette's in Tuscaloosa to benefit those directly impacted by Typhoon Haiyan. The Alabama student, uh, Jasmine Sabio, is representing the country at the preliminary, as the preliminary title holder within the U Miss Universe organization. She says that although her family was not affected, she hopes that fundraisers will bring forth awareness and funds to help those devastated by the area. The whole country was hit, and I just feel like that's what's right is just to help give back, regardless if it is my family or not. So um, just anything I can do to help, whether it's thoughts, prayers, um, just sending out words of encouragement, but I think this fundraiser will make a big impact. The event is titled Revelry for Relief, and money, all money raised will go to, directly to help typhoon victims. And before we go to break, don't forget to follow your home team on Twitter. Follow us for the latest breaking news and what's happening all around Alabama and beyond. An American family is back home after their vacation to the Philippines turned into a nightmare. 
although November is one of the least popular months for weddings, find out why couples are choosing to get married today. And number one took on number two in tonight in college basketball. Gary Harris will have Kentucky, Mississippi, Michigan State highlights later in your home team sports.